Wagwa people, we are back. Caribbean FC episode 27, brothers, and we are kicking it off with some Europa League action. So, as we've done, we are a Caribbean team. We can only buy Caribbean players. Youth Academy players from Africa. We are currently in the championship and we've got two back-to-back -back UEFA League games. So, we've got Bill Bow in UEFA League. I'll sandwich him some championship games in between. But we are top of the group with six points with Celtic and Legia in there. So if we get a good result against Bilbao here at home and maybe a decent one away, we could be through to the knockout phase of the Europa League, which was the minimum aim that we wanted. So far, we are smashing it with this team in the championship. We're doing really well. Uh, we are currently on Legendary. I think if we go up to Premier League, we're going to put it up to Ultimate because it's just getting a bit too maybe easy for these brothers. But we have got pace in abundance. And that's why we are so good in these games because we are basically counter-attacking every team and beasting and a feasting. But today is going to be a different kettle of fish, Athletic Club, which is kind of frustrating because it'd be nice if they actually did stick to the kind of Athletic Bilbao rules of buying only Bass players. But I guess it's hard to code that into the game. As you can see, Morata's there, Awara's there as well. So Cooper Miners, last time I checked, he was Dutch. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so Bilbao at home couple minutes into it it's going to be a definitely a harder game than it was against Celtic to be fair Celtic did dominate us at Celtic Park and we did hit him with the counter attacking goal look at speed today got a damn list ball all of a sudden nice little touch inside Romero what the hell bro come on man the guy just sidestepped like it was Chris Brown on concert let's go touch inside nicely done Bakuna inside there's low low from distance had the keeper leaving skid marks in his pants then but just wide of the post long ball up headed back in that's nice little touchdown Okay, here come Athletic Bow. So you can see there is the group stage at the moment. I think Leisure and Wasa are going to be uh, the whipping boys of the group. I did think it was between us and Celtic for second place, but Bill Bow at the moment is struggling as well. And judging by that shot, I can see why. Wow, what the hell was that, bro? Right, 15 minutes play. Casey Palmer pulling the strings. Bakuna from tower. Oh, oh, Bakuna from distance. Here's Romero. Can we get something whipped in? No. Hamal referee. Come on, man. That guy's playing bloody volleyball. Nice little touch inside by Gore. Here's Romero again, cuts back inside, nicely done. Low with the spin, in. low with the shot, and a good save by the damn keeper. Right, Bill Bow now trying to build up for the back with Wolf, getting chances in this game. Nicely done, touch inside, Zagara. Back across again, Cooper Miners can't get there. Falls to Russell, let's go, Palmer. Little touch outside, nicely done to Gore. What can Gore do? Gore's on the right side, Gore with the shot, oh my goodness. Don't let him fool you, oh no. Gore gonna school you. Was the keeper in sight? It was the keeper crap. Maybe both. But who cares? Gory makes it 1-0. And Carnival Park is buzzing. All right, 30 minutes in now. Bill Bauer pissed. They can't believe they're 1-0 down to us. Touch inside. Nicely done. It's good football. Nothing too dangerous. Somebody... What the hell? Close him down, for God's sake. Luckily, Amos in goal. Makes the save. All right, seven minutes to go till half time. Still 1-0 here. Perez to Pereira. Down the line to Rubal. Oh, close him down then. Close him down. Don't be scared. There we go. Nicely done. Oh my goodness, Ibrahim's turned into a right left winger. We could be our new Mo Salah, that guy. Nice little touch inside, nicely done. And Bell is on the left-hand side. He's got a right back chasing him. Whip it in. Beautiful. There's Russell. Surely, 2-0. What the rass clap was that, man? Oh my lord. All right, second half, Ibrahim. Nice little dink to the back stick. Headed down now. Keeper gets hold of it. Okay, we could do with the second goal here. Bilbao, the game is open up. Bilbao could counter attack us here. Here's Velasco. No ball inside. Alvaro Morata. His 85th club of his damn career. What the hell's going on? Here's Morata again. Shot from distance. Morata. Oh, Amos. I mean, one for the cameras there, bro. But he makes a save. That's the main thing. All right, Hutchinson's on for Palmer. A couple of little changes for Caribbean FC. Little touch outside. Nicely done. Bell. Breaking forward. Okay, just run into him then. That's fine. That's okay. That's fine. I, I, I'm guessing you had some kind of reason behind that. Here's Oredo and Bill Bauer in. And it's Ika Munain. And it's 1-1. One, one. All because of that stupid left back. Trying to dribble through midfield like he's down Gareth Bale, man. All right, 1-1 one, one here. I'll take a 1-1. One, one. Oh, my Lord. I just absolutely rinsed that guy. He's played on, though. Balls across. Leach with the header down. Nicely done. Dreadlock Rasta. Ball inside. Hutchinson. A little spin move. Nicely done. Come on, play him out. Beautiful. Here's Bell. Come on, let's get a guy. Let's get one. Let's get one. Come on, last minute. Here's Ali. Fresh on for Ibrahim. We've got some fresh legs. Look at this kid go. My goodness, I gave him a whole bag of jelly tots. And this kid's got a sugar us. Back stick header. What? That's in. Oh, my Lord. If you missed that rewind, that was clearly over the line. Oh, I had to make a change at the back as well. Eze is at Bilbao. See, now Bilbao's lost all respect now. He's, come on, man. You've got even English players in there as well. 
90 second minute, come on, keep it in their half, we can maybe snatch one here, here's Russell, back inside, it'll surely be the winning goal if we do, low, plays the ball through, Bakuna Matata, oh, he means no worries for the rest of your days, Bakuna, oh, Matata, oh, beautifully done, and Caribbean FC have stolen all three points, oh, look at the Carnival Park Stadium, barbecues are on the go, let's go, oh my goodness, a 2-1 snatched win, last second, all right, a lot of the game was going to go. Wasn't going to go your way. Right at the end, at the death, your team cut with the winner. Was perhaps your day a little bit luck? What the hell, bro? Look my ass, man. All right. I mean, I know I can't say that on Sky Sports, but I don't care, man. We played right to the final whistle, and we got the result, man. Show some damn respect. I'm not showing respect in that result. Oh, that amazing late finish. Where do your boys find that little bit extra today? A little bit extra, bro. Come on, man. We prepare for every game, bro. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of jerk chicken, you know what I mean? A couple of yams, a couple of patties. We're ready to go, man. Don't even go and give me that disrespect, man. Look at this guy. He's disrespectful every time. Very competitive group. Looking at the game still to come. Do you think Caribbean FC are in a good position to get the knockout phases? Um, damn right, man. We've got nine points on the board. We've got three games to go. You know what I'm saying? Another win or another couple of draws. I think we'll through to the next round. You better show some damn respect then. That's right, man. I'll see you outside, bro. So we are currently, look at that, 10 goals, 1 against, 9 points on the board. Celtic got 6 behind us though. Alright, so I'm going to squeeze a couple of championship games in between, show you the goals on this one too. Like I said, we're trying to make it to Christmas where we've just got so many games and rotating the squad like nobody's business. I'm literally Cardio Ranieri, the Tinker Man at the moment. Um, so yeah, as long as we can stay in the top 3 by Christmas, there will be a lot of players leaving in the January transfer window. I've still not got any decent Youth Academy players coming through yet. So, um, we may have to go to the transfer market. I've got my eye on Baptiste from Brentford, just a short midfield, but again, it'll give us a good play. Who could play in the Premier League as well if we make it? But I reckon if we can get past the group stage, past most of these championship games, and still be the top three, we're in a good spot to get to the Premier League, because that is all that really matters. So, eight minutes in, Casey Palmer all the way through, and Palmer doing what Palmer does, palming a goal in. Making it 1 0 Caribbean FC against Ipswich Town if you're from the USA or Ipswich if you're from the UK or whatever. I don't know where else you say from. But I was being on number of languages, okay? So 1 0. And then 1 B came to 18 minutes to go. Powell down the left wing. Ibrahim knocked it down. Look at the finish. Beautiful volley. And it's that man again, Billy Taylor. My God, this kid is different gravy. And I'm not talking your Morrison's brand or your Tesco's. I'm talking Bisto. I'm talking old school gravy. You know what I'm saying? That guy is unbelievable. I mean, that's a close-range finish, but if you're watching the whole series, you know Billy Taylor's the man. Ipswich did get one back. It looked like he was 10 shades of offside. This guy was taking a crap behind the goal, but for some reason wasn't offside. But okay, ref, that's fine. It's okay. It's okay. We stayed on. We got the win. Cheating gits. So 2-1 against Ipswich. Um, that left us three points clear of Hull still. I, I yeah, Again, I don't know if Steve Bruce is back in charge. What the hell's going on at Hull? But for some reason, Hull have... Up there. They might have Andy Robertson and Maguire back, maybe. I don't know, who knows? So then we play Shrewsbury in the Carabao Cup. Uh, Shrewsbury, which are a League 2 team, I do believe, at the moment. So I did play a few more of the youngsters. Mendy's in there. Uh, Adela Wahab Hassan is in there as well. I'm murdering some of these names. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just I, basically whoever's fit plays. If you turned up, you've got your boots on and some shin pads, get on the pitch. Plain and simple. I'm trying to keep it as one team and another team as best I can. So now I've got my strongest team for the big games. But against Shrewsbury, we just tore them apart. Absolutely just no mercy. Just, you know what? You're my prison cell. That's it. I, I nearly said it you. I didn't say the B word. But you're my prison cell, homie. You know what I'm saying? And we're just going to ruin it. This is it. That's all it is. So 1-0 up. And then one became two. 18 minutes in. The Shrewsbury keeper had a long old night tonight. I mean, he's going to go home and literally be have nightmares about this game. So 2-0 up after 20 minutes. And the Carabao Cup uh, obviously was something. Do we know we won the FA Cup last year? What the hell did we win? The FA Cup or the Carabao Cup? FA Cup. I have no idea. Anyway, I'll have to look back. 3 0 uh, after 25 minutes. Low again. And like I said, he is scoring too. I think he'll be good for another season in the Premier League. And hopefully we can get somebody else in because Low will be 30 then in the season. So if we do go to Premier League, give him a season in the Prem, that experience. Um, and then we've got Billy Taylor that will press on with the press on. Lobig gave it 4-0 after 28 minutes. And this could look like it could be double figures. The Shrewsbury fans are already leaving. They thought, you know what, I'm going home. I don't care. I've got a pie in the oven. They didn't want to watch this demolish nation of their team. And then Low, beautiful little move. Top bins. Got his hat trick to make it 5-0. Uh, and we're not even at half time here. So yeah, Shrewsbury got absolutely tonked, should we say. 
But I like the professionalism, my boys. They did their thing. You know what I'm saying? No messing about whatsoever. Second half, though, we only managed to get another one. And that man again, low, made it 6 0. But yeah, I don't know what I was doing. I might have just gone to make my tea or something in the second half. <laughs> I have no idea how it's gone. Five and 40 minutes and nothing until the 87th minute. It is what it is, though. We're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Uh, we're no longer in the Papa Don't Preach, Papa Don't Teach, Papa Don't Eat No Damn Food Cup, which is good. But we did draw uh, Spurs in the quarterfinal, which will be an interesting tie. It's mainly Premier League teams in the quarterfinals now on, so it will be see how far we can go really now and test ourselves against some real decent teams. <coughs> Excuse me. So, back to uh, prem, uh, Championship action. and we got Preston North End, the Pippers. Uh, so, again, rotating the squad. Ahmed's in at left back. Sharif Fane's back in the building. Uh, we've got Ibrahim on the left though still and again Powell's come in, Libertadore and Gibson are our centre-backs so again they're our third and fourth choice centre-halves. I'm playing Amos in every game. Uh, Rue, our goalkeeper last season, is retiring end of the season and I've got another guy called Mendy who literally is no use to anybody. It, I mean literally no use to anybody. He's about a four foot six goalkeeper with one thumb and two fingers. So it, you know what I mean, he's one of those. So I only ever play Amos in the goal, just trying to get him up to as quick as I can to 70 rated at least for the Premier League. And we go from there. So we're 1-0 up. And then Billy Taylor again does spin moving. And oh my goodness, this is just nasty. Sheffield United brought him through their academy. Didn't play him once. We picked him up for four something million plus... Um, oh my goodness, I, I, I forgot an Aguiz up front last season. Who was that man last year? Oh my, that's terrible. The guy played for two seasons for us and was one of our best players. <laughs> Soon forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Trump. All right, anyway, we still made three points clear of Hull. And then we headed back to Spain for the second game against Bilbao at the Estadio San Man. Bilbao, what a stadium this is. And again, trying to put our strongest team that we can. Hull is still our club captain, even though he's 31 years old. He's got cataracts in one eye and arthritis in his right knee. But the guy is still doing his thing. So we're looking to do our thing as well here. Again, a point will give us 10 points. I think 10 points generally gets you through the group stage of any European competition. So I'm hoping that is the case tonight. Let's go. 10 minutes in, Bilbao will be pissed after the last game. What can they do? Here's Morata. I'm surprised he's not changed clubs since we've been last team. I'm here. Here's Munayin. A little spin move around. Relvas. Definitely a lot more attacking this time. We've got to hold our line. Maybe just defending numbers in this first game. Oh my goodness, that's a poor ball out again. This is how they scored the first time. Morata is in behind one. Laid it back for some reason. Munyan goes to the power shot. Ends up killing the ball boy. What the hell are you doing that for, bro? It's a kid in the front row. Missing teeth now. All right, here's Rubio. Nice intercepted though by Hull. Oh my goodness, he's giving it straight to Morata. What the rouse for you smoking? And he's in, surely. Ah, bomber clap. Oh, I think he's offside. Is he offside? Come on. Puyo, referee, what are you saying? He's offside, I'll take that. I, I was never sweating, I was calm as you like. You saw that as well. All right, Romero, 26 minutes in now. We've given Bilbao a couple of chances. He's been, oh my lord, let's give him more then, why don't we? What am I doing? Here's Morata. Morata's in again, Morata shoots. Oh, Tori Amos. The only people from the 90s remember who Tori Amos is. Oh my goodness, what a save though. Another spin move. Oh my goodness, he's absolutely done him there. Come on, Bell, don't let him cross, don't let him cross. I see. Okay. All right. We're going inside. Nice little touch again inside, and Amos again. <laughs> My keeper. The first season he was absolutely dreadful. Couldn't even catch a cold. Now this guy is unbelievable. Nice little spin move. Oh, we had the counter then as well. This is what I think with my boys. I've got them on breaking fast and they do with the pace of the Caribbean brothers. They can break like nobody's business. Here we go again. Nice little spin move. Beautifully done. Casey Palmer. Send my brother. Ibrahim. Go on, Ibrahim. Come on, brother. Oh, a little touch inside. Ibrahim. Oh, the Egyptian king. Ibrahim. Oh, my goodness. Bow to Cleopatra's husband. My lordy. What a rass he's doing with his hair. I don't know, but I don't care. The guy looks like a Bross tribute act. Oh my god, the guy looks like Boy George, but the Egyptian version. Alright, touch inside. Here's O'Hara. One nil up here in Bilbao. Can we hold it at one nil before half time? Touch inside, nicely done. Casey Palmer. Play my wide Ibrahim's in again. Go on, Ibrahim! My left winger, go on, Ibrahim! Surely! Oh, he went near post. He bobbed when he should have weaved, man. Alright, into the second half. Bilbao look deflated now they've conceded on goal. Oh my god, Lee, that was a heavier touch. Here's Romero, nicely done. Look at the space that Caribbean FC have got to play. Nicely done. Here's Low. Low's got the angle. And oh my lord. What the rat was that, bro? Must have clipped a nut or something when they were shooting. Alright, here's Rebus. What can he do? Touch inside. Munion. Munion again. Come on, don't let him do you like that, man. Don't let him do you like that. Got to pay. What the rat is he sliding for? 
Touch his side. Come on. Oh, don't take him down. Don't stand, stand your ground. And Amos again. Keeping us in this game. Here come Bilbao again. Pressure's on. Eze from distance. Eze last year in our Ripping uh, Career Mode was one of our best players, Eze. It was unbelievable. So if you've watched the uh, Ripping Career Mode last year, big up you, son. Like that button down there. Like that button. Hit the like button. What the rasp am I talking about? Now here's Lowe now. Nice little counter attack again. We're in again. It's Casey Palmer. Oh, oh the keeper's made a mistake. Surely. Oh, he was the defender and the keeper made the save, so to say. Another shot from distance from Bilbao. That, that second goal would have killed him off, man. But we are 15 minutes away from having 12 points in the group. We've got runners again. And Bill Bauer following their runners. It's Casey Palmer. He hasn't got the legs. Lays it across though. Russell back across again. Ibrahim. Surely Ibrahim. Oh, it's deflected through. Somebody, my lordy. Oh, the keeper gets rid of it in the end. Oh, squeaky bum time now. Ali's on for Ibrahim. Let's just defend this now. Billy Taylor's on for low. Come on. Nicely done. That's it. Don't let him knock it past you. Just defend it. Oh, my lord. Just keep ball, man. Here's Velasco. This ain't good. Eight minutes to go. And again, oh my goodness. Amos was scrambling a little bit. Bilbao just can't seem to get a decent shot on target though. Here's Hutchinson. Nicely done. Here's Billy Taylor. He's unmarked. Billy Taylor. Round the keeper. Referee. Oh my damn ankles. Yeah. Pook, Puyo. Book him. Jonathan Creek. I don't care who it is. It looks like Brett the Hitman Hart. It looks like Shawn Michaels from back in the 90s. Who the hell is this referee? Oh my lord. That is a definite pen all day long. All right, Billy Taylor will take his own damn penalty. That was such a penalty, man. That was ridiculous. Billy Taylor! Ah, keeper can only do one of those Bill Cosby little looks. <laughs> Billy Taylor <laughs> makes it 2-0. Come on, boys. That is us going to the knockout phase. Surely. I mean, again, we've got Celtic and Leisure to go. But Amos, you're the man. He has been an absolute sensation this season as Amos. Oh, my God. All right, but you won the World Cup. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Bro, let's get a room, man. But look at the Caribbean faithful making the trip to Spain. Billy Taylor's got five goals in three games in the Europa League. And Amos collects the ball up. Beautifully done. That's surely it. We're into the final few minutes now. Bill Bow will stay on three points in the group. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's Hutchinson. Oh, my goodness. He has come to me recently saying he wants to play more games. So I'm going to have to start him more games because he's getting pissed, apparently. So I'll have to do that. But there we go. The final whistle. 2-0. I don't mind, but everyone's literally playing one game, then the next, then one game, the next. So I don't get why his beef is, but I'll just put him in the starting 11 and he'll stop crying. All right. 2-0 win. Leech. Amos at the back, doing the good things. And again, look at that clean sheet. Look at my game. All right. Uh, are you pleased to get through the groups? Of course I'm pleased, bro. Man. You won't see the bonus the manager's got me, man. I'm waiting outside for a new damn Bentley when I get home, man. Don't trust me on that thing. That's twice you beat an athletic club. You proved you got a better players. Uh, oh, it's just you worked out how to play against them. Bruh. How dare you, man? What about me? You know what I'm saying? Got the better manager as well. You know what I'm saying, bro? We came here with a plan. We activate that plan the way we go. But big up the goalkeeper, man, for keeping us in the game. Otherwise, we can't execute the plan without him. I'm not sure anybody gave your boys a chance before the game. I swear to God, this guy. You know, I'm about to say no comment, you know what I'm saying, bro. You, you're, getting, you're getting libel liberties in here, man. I swear down. I'm going to shove that microphone where the sun don't shine if you keep talking like that, bro. I don't care, man. I don't, I don't roll like that, man. No, no yeah, that's right. You better say thank you, bro. All right. So we are three points clear of a hull. Uh, like I said, I'm happy with that. We've lost three games this season, but it's understandable, the rotations. We are doing amazing in the Europa League for some damn reason. Uh, six points clear of Celtic. So I do believe we play Celtic next at home. Next episode will be on its leisure in this one. So we've got Hull and we've got Sunderland. So I might make Hull and Leisure the main games. I normally just do one main game and three goal highlights. But I think I'll put two in there because Hull is a big game. Amos is 68 raid. Now Mendy, like I said, we're going to get rid of. Rue's retiring. So we do need a goalkeeper next season. But I've earmarked Andre Blake of Jamaica. He will be 35 years old or something crap like that. But he'll be a good backup. Ahmed's doing really well. Leach is doing really well. Hull, like I said, is 71 rated, uh, 31 now. But again, club captain. Libertadore, again, is looking good. Davis is coming up as well, a little bit 17. Gibson's 20 now. Hasn't really raised a bit. I might have to learn my next season if we do invest in another defender. Again, right back is another position I might have to look at soon because they are very old and Abdullah is leaving. A few of these are leaving permanently, like Balogun's leaving permanently. Some of them are going on loan, like uh, Godwin Mohammed's going on loan. Uh, Ali will probably be on loan as well, being 16 rated and 18. Hassan, again, is going to Middlesbrough on loan. So I'm hoping, like I said, I haven't left the squad too threadbare, should we say, come January, but we'll soon find out. 
We've still got about five million in the bank, but um, that might be used on youth academy players. But that's only if something amazing comes through. If not, I will try and spend about four million on Baptiste. Uh, we should have about a million, two million worth in transfer sales going through with all these little crap ones worth, worth about 200k each kind of thing. So, But so far, looking good. The squad's okay. Like I said, we might have to do some things in the January transfer window. And ideally, in an ideal world, Leon Bailey is here, Matt, for the Premier League if we go to the Premier League. Um, but he's going to cost about 30 odd million. So hopefully the Premier League, the chairman, Ainsley Harriet, gives us some damn coins. You know what I mean? Release another cookbook or something, brother. Do something for me, man. Go on tour, travel Caribbean, do, do some more videos, do something, man, because we need some more money in the club. But so far, it's looking good. So hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. We're nearly at 3,700. Let's try and get to 4,000 before FIFA 23 ends. Let's, let's get up there, man. We've been languishing in 3,000 for too long. So hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.